Welcome to Outland, where we start with Once Upon a Time. She was a funny lady. Those ancient among us will recall a time when Johnny Carson found her to be so good at what she did, he made her the permanent guest host. Of course, things changed over the years when she took her talents to another network. But there was a time when Joan Rivers was actually considered to be funny. Guys, you're in a good mood because I have had, I had the worst night. I had the most terrible nightmare last night. I dreamt that Tom Selleck and my husband Edgar Rosenberg were fighting over me and Edgar won. I was, I was just... <laughs> no, not, not that I'm not happy to be married because thank God, knock on velvet, thank God. Uh, but my husband and I no longer see eye to eye. On a lot, but he doesn't find me sexually attractive anymore, okay? You, you want to know the truth? Last night I said to him, do you find me sexy? He said, I'd rather not find you at all. And, and, no, it reaches, no, it reaches the point when you, are you married or single? No, so you, how long are you married? 30, then you know, then you and I know what we're talking about. I mean, I mean, a lot of that mm, 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 is that mm, mm, mm. It, oh, it, cha it changes. I said, then what's your favorite sexual position? He said, next door. Joan Rivers continues to try to be edgy. Recently, she made comments about President Obama and the First Lady that did not sit well with a lot of people. Do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We already have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. Got it. You know Michelle is a trans. I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. We all know. Oh, my gosh. During a recent interview that followed not long after that on CNN, Joan Rivers was asked about that by the interviewer. And Joan Rivers, whether it was an act or whether it was real, became rather defensive. You know, this whole yeah. interview is becoming a defensive interview. No! Uh, are you wearing leather shoes? Yeah, then shut no, up. I'm oh. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear. You're wearing fur. You're I'm, wearing I'm leather not shoes. An activist, you're I'm eating. Saying. You're oh. eating chicken. Yeah. You're eating meat. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Come to me with a paper belt, and I'll talk to you. <laughs> but you did hear it in some of those press conferences. There were people who were upset, and you're just saying, no way. Oh, oh, you know, I'm going. I really am going because all you have done is negative. No. All you have done is negative. I haven't heard that. I make people laugh for 50 years. I am put on earth to make people laugh. My book is funny. I wear fur that was killed 15 years ago. I work for animal rights. Stop it with, and you do this, and you're me and you're that you are not the one to interview a person who does humor sorry are we serious she was serious she walked out of the interview and to be fair joan rivers has been mean in her comedy over the years so then it was only natural then that joan would appear on the late show with david letterman david letterman personally in my opinion is a funny guy has been for a long time uh, whether it was staged or whether it was not it would seem that Dave even maybe got a little bit tired of Joan Rivers. Now people say, well, it was a publicity stunt to no. promote the book. Oh, just the opposite. Because I, you know, I'm easy to work with. I mean, mm -hmm. I, but, uh, I'm up for an Activia commercial. I don't, you know, oh, oh, I'm so nervous because uh, I lost out on the Depends. And, um, really? <laughs> Remember June Allison? <laughs> Hi, I'm June Allison. While I'm talking to you, I'm taking a dump. I mean, it was one of the great commercials. Great commercials. Great commercials. And... We have... Congratulations. Here at Midpoint and here in Outland, we are always looking for those people who sometimes maybe push it a little bit too far and maybe those people who sometimes need to reconsider themselves just a little bit. Hey, to be very fair, if you come from a certain generation, Joan Rivers was a very funny lady. And there are those people right now who would say that she has become just a little too mean anymore. Then again, there are those who would say that Joan Rivers, at her age, she can be as funny as she want, she can be as cruel as she want, and she can walk out of as many interviews as she wants. Regardless of what it is, Joan Rivers, I think she went a little bit overboard sometimes because, let's face it, there are certain things you just don't say. It doesn't make a difference what side you're on about certain people. Sometimes the office deserves a little more respect. Of course, that's up to you to decide, and up to you to decide as well if you think Joan Rivers is still funny. Well, let's put it this way. Her book is probably going to sell a lot of copies right now simply because her name is back out in the media. And we've helped it as well. Tell us what you think. We'll answer back as well. This is Midpoint. 
And welcome to Outland, Joan Rivers, right here on the Newsmax TV Network.